Good morning, pregame crew. It is Thursday, June 22nd, 2023, 6.21 a.m. Mountain Time, 8.21 a.m. Eastern Time. Good morning and welcome to the pregame show. This is a show where I go over indices, commodities, crypto, movers, and shakers of the day. My goal is to help you get ready for the trading day and most importantly, help you on your trading journey. Not because I'm some guru or fruru, because I've done it wrong a lot and experience is what you get when you don't get what you want and i have a lot of experience in trading so take advantage of my mistakes and don't make them on your own i'm going to say hello to my friends do an audio visual check and take a few chart requests good morning shake and bake marvin renaissance man night truck greg bennett homebody chris andre sam hector whitney rj b hawk slow devil <laughs> Happy birthday, slow devil. Sorry about the midnight wake up or middle of the night wake up. Thanks, Bob. Hey, Kat. A, a rain, green money, Tess, Bass, Geo Guitar, Mike. Good morning. Let me go back up to the top. Yep, jobless claims in seven minutes. We have Mester and Powell speaking today. Powell is testifying. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. What did I do on AMLI? Yeah, I think I was, we were been looking at this and I was saying wait for a pullback to buy against this dollar 98. So good. Hope it's working for you. Nice tightening pattern here. Let's all sing happy birthday to Slow Devil. Ready? One, two, three. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to anybody. I would not sing. Amazon. I go over Amazon every day. Amazon is coming up on the monthly 50 MA overhead. Weekly looks fine. Could be a weekly bull flag. Daily is starting to get some pause up there as bulls consolidate sideways. No major issues yet. I was kind of viewing Amazon this morning like this. 123.85, 124.12, 124.12, 124.13. That was not the right markup. But we basically have a lot of bottoms in this area. If we were to lose 124, I think we could have some meaningful consolidation. And I would take that break. I would take that break on the loss of 123.85. Again, on the daily and weekly, there's nothing wrong with this chart. We're bouncing and going green. All right, Amazon, you go girl. So on a pullback to 123.85, you could look for a pullback buy or you could take a bear break of 123.85. It will most likely hinge on how the market behaves today as to how Amazon's going to behave. Yeah, here are economic events for today. Jobless claims in four minutes. Fed member Bowman speaks existing home sales at 10 a.m. I always like to note when we have data after the market opens. Fed Chair Powell testifies we have oil and nat gas inventory today. And the jobless claims estimate is 260,000. And remember, bad news is good news. So if we have a lot more jobless claims than anticipated, that could be perceived as bullish for the market. I will go over Tesla. Tesla, I'm less bullish on Tesla. This is a blow off top. I switched to reverse back burner mode when we have this huge bearish engulfing candle. Just means the temporary top is in. I think we will still have bounces and I would look for five and 15 minute reverse back burners for shorting on Tesla. So I switched to a bear on Tesla after yesterday's blow off top. You're welcome, Donald. I through my research, I found an orb opening range breakout PDF and I've been testing it for a week or two and I shared it with the members. I have been looking at it. And I'm pretty intrigued by the study. 
and the more data I can collect on it and back test it, I will show it with y'all, but I'm glad y'all liked it. Okay, SPX, I have to do 500 USD because I want the 24 hours. Four hour approaching oversold. We have until 425950 to get a daily higher low. Will four hour oversold, if we get there, we're at 33 now, will that put in that temporary bottom? And I'm looking for it to possibly do that. So I would wait for four hour oversold for a potential bottom fish on SPX. Yeah, cat, I don't like coin today. Boogeyman, I'm just going to go over regional banks, KRE. If you want to look at a different ticker, let me know. So on KRE, we're looking for a weekly higher low. Plenty of room to put that in. Will four-hour oversold, we're currently at 31, almost 32. If we get oversold, will that put in that weekly higher low and then possibly get it inverse head and shoulders on KRE? That remains to be seen. Was that the worst drawing ever? Yes. So on the daily chart, we're approaching the 50 MA. Hourly is oversold. And I would watch for a 5 or 15 minute trend change on this one to try to mark that temporary to find that weekly higher low. It doesn't mean a 5 minute trend change will give you that weekly higher low, but it's step one. I kind of look at all names every day. I look at sound and AI every day. Sound was a swing report pick. Back here, it was my pick. Here. Here, we added it to the swing report. And on Monday, we, or Tuesday. Is that right? Just 10 days ago? Yeah. Yeah, we opened up right here that Monday. So it was a swing report name and I took an entry and we're up almost 35% on that name. So if you're not part of the swing report, you may want to think about that. It had a beautiful squeeze. I love those. So I definitely watch sound because I have a position. Yeah, Bitcoin has been pretty bullish. Big bull move. We're getting some upper wicks up here as bulls take a breather. No major harm done. And coin is red. So I agree with you. I like coin for a potential intraday top fish. We are right here at the daily 50 MA and odds favor a weekly lower high. So if Bitcoin shows any meaningful consolidation, I would like coin short. Jobless claims are out. Let's see what that is. Not out yet. They should be out. I know, Andre, it never hit that 280. Uh, on, for, But that was the conservative entry. I took an aggressive entry and got a very small position. But thanks for pointing that out. You're right. There's always the opportunity to be aggressive with entries and not wait for the conservative zone. Okay, 264,000 jobless claims. So a little bit more than what was expected. The market's liking that a little bit. Let's see if they can put in that daily higher low. Are the jobless claims or is the jobless claims data point? Is this the data point that the market's been waiting for to put in that temporary, to put in that daily higher low? We'll see. I'm sorry, I am not able to get to all of the charts because it is overwhelming and I try to get done by at least 6.55 my time. So today, Denzi will be going on live for TCG members. So let's look at ES and what's the dealio? Four hour oversold is approximately at 43.90. And look where we bounced today, 43.93, $3 above that level. So is four hour oversold going to make mark our daily higher low? Can bulls make that happen? 
I want y'all to look at that. That's why I think it's important for us to mark up our charts with our key areas where we're looking to bottom fish. Beautiful bounce. Hey, Prince Borky. So I like market bulls if we can get an hourly trend change, get over 44.04. And on NASDAQ, we need to get over 15024. Do y'all see where we bounced from NASDAQ? Oh, Lord. Tell me technical analysis doesn't work. It's a beautiful thing. So let's see what the bulls can do with this. They're not out of the woods yet. And I need to introduce myself. Good morning. This is who I am. I'm Charcal Lori, and I forget to introduce myself sometimes. If you want to give me a follow on Twitter, that would be great. You can check us out at chartguys.com. We teach technical analysis. We post trades, entries, exits, setups, ideas, and just have, we engender a wonderful community. That's our goal, at least. If you want to check us out, chartguys.com. So every morning I look at this table and overall, it's just a little more bearish than bullish. Larger term time frames. The ES bulls have the upper hand and NASDAQ. Okay, perfect prints. So overall, we're leaning a little more bearish. However, with this bounce off jobless claims, things are looking a little less ominous if this four hour oversold bounce can come into play. I have my notes, they're off screen. I reserve those for TCG members only. Hang Sing is the same as it was the night before. I'm assuming Hang Sing was closed overnight. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was closed. DAX is down 0.43%. And we're, we have changed the 15 minute trend. So we've changed the 15 minute trend on NASDAQ. That is step one in putting in that daily higher low. Then we want the hourly trend change. So with this new development of this bounce from this key area that I've been watching right here, four hour oversold, been talking about it for two days now. We're getting our bounce. Now get over 15024, darn it. Yes, get over 4404, darn it. And then I feel better about having a potentially bullish day. All right, that's those two indices. RTY has a little bit more ways to go, but I would say that it held up the higher low versus the double bottom compared to 1870 a little bit better. So RTY is trying to behave a little bit stronger, but they have more work to do on their daily chart. Four hour EMAs overhead. There you go, market. Go, go, go. YM, same thing. We have a little bit of a double bottom here by $1 on the hourly chart. We have not changed the 15 minute trend yet. We didn't hit four hour oversold. We came close, but look at that tweezer bottom attempting to be put in here on Dow. Again, I like bullish entries where we are. If we make new lows on the day, my thesis changes. So if we hold the lows of the day, I'm looking bullish forward. Does that help you with a very definitive statement? As long as we hold the lows of today, the lows we just made, I'm looking bullish today. <laughs> no hollering over here. Okay. VIX, there's no real fear in the market, y'all. Not right now. Bitcoin, our risk on asset has been going haywire. We're consolidating sideways on the hourly chart. I'm looking for some potential consolidation on Bitcoin, but back burners will still be on the table for five and 15 minute potential oversold conditions as bottom fish areas for Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has been super bullish and Ethereum has been bullish. Consolidation sideways is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's give us some data points here. On Bitcoin, anything above 29209 keeps a four hour bull flag in play. 29209. If that just shows you how much room the bulls have to work with. And I'm going to stop right here and just do a little psychology. I like to watch, let me get the text copy, Joe Dispenza. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I have his book and I like to watch his videos in the morning. 
because of course I've gone, gone through cognitive behavioral therapy and I know how important it is for us to watch our thoughts and watch them like a hawk because they can shape our reality. And I tell you often, take a minute to visualize how you want to feel at the end of the day. So just right here, right now at 4 p.m. Eastern, whatever time for you, the market closes, how do you want to feel? And make sure that you have your mind take over the role of the boss, not your physical body or emotions. FOMO, jumping in. Who's the boss if you're chasing a name? It's not your brain, because if your brain were in control, it'd say, sit the frick down and don't chase this name. And our physical bodies like wants to click that button, click, 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 and we want that adrenaline high. Make sure today your brain is the boss of today. Your brain will make better trading decisions than your physical body and or your emotions. And the people who don't make it in trading, they don't take control of their mind and they let their body and emotions make the trading decisions. Have your brain make the trading decisions and tune out all the noise. That was a deep one, but man, I think it was a goodie. We'll see. Gold. Gold just slapped me around like a $10 hook. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. It just really slapped me around as someone who is not very valued. I was looking at the dollar daily bear flag yesterday. And I sh shared that with y'all. I said, I'm looking here. And we were here when I was discussing this. And I said, because of this bear flag, I like gold long. And that was gold, right? Let's see, where was 6 a.m. yesterday? Right here. Gold stopped me out, and then the little joker bounced 20 bucks. So it's still behind hourly EMAs. It is still weak, but I want, I tweeted out just for clarity. I tweeted out the gold and oil clapped me back this morning. I was pressing too hard after 11 day green streak. If you've been in here, you know I've been calling oil pretty dang good the last 11 days and gold pretty well as, all, as well, pretty good as well. But oil yesterday, I got a little too overconfident and it put me back in my place. And that tends to happen often when you get on this winning streak and you stop looking at things objectively and you're like i got this thing figured out i have a crystal ball essentially so <laughs> home body the bot's probably going to delete that because of the the word that's in it but just know that i recognize that oil put me in my place i honor it i it humbles me and I want to stop and take that all in because I think it's important for us to do that. Gold is stuck below the hourly EMAs, four hour lower high anticipated. It's funny y'all, when I get close to curse words or being inappropriate, that's when I make y'all the happiest. It's just, <laughs> what a statement or whatever reflection of our society we need to get over 1948 40 to change the four hour trend y'all obviously i'm not vibing with gold it's been getting me and getting me good so we're looking for a monthly higher low if you have a setup on it you go boy or girl monthly sitting on the 50 ma weekly can't get over the 8 ema daily lower high still the more likely scenario we have inventory today I still like it short in this area against the daily 50 MA. If we could bounce up to 73.47, I'd really like oil to the short side. But we've already pulled back a lot. I'm probably going to have to abandon that idea, especially after yesterday's bruised ego. Lord, do we need Jesus. <laughs> uh, amen, David. This auto button, I'm going to have to use the desktop thing because this auto button is driving me crazy. Nat, not Nat Gas. This is Nat Gas. Nat Gas, I just want to keep pointing out this three day megaphone. If we were to get up and actually get a bull break, I wouldn't be super excited as a Nat Gas bull with this megaphone looming overhead. We have inventory today at the normal time, 1030 Eastern. We have oil at 11 a.m. Eastern. 
I'm still not a fan of Nat Gas. So if you're figuring it out, then here's your gold star. You can have it. Apple. Apple, we're looking for a daily high or low. This is the area for daily 21 EMA and four hour oversold. That's the area. If we were to pull back to that area, would that be healthy consolidation? No, not necessarily. I just don't know if Apple bulls are going to let it go that far. So then I look at it like this. Actually, let me use this tool. I like an Apple long against 182.59. If the four hour high or low is being put in here on ES and NASDAQ, I like Apple long against 182.59. Below 182.50, I'm wrong. Amazon. Amazon, same thing. Daily is, actually it's not the same thing. Daily is is going sideways, but this is a potential weekly bull flag. I'm not gonna get overly bearish on it down here. It's already turning green. So I like a pullback buy against yesterday's low, but right here, right now, bouncing, I can't do anything with it. Nvidia, let me read my notes. Possible bottom fish against yesterday's low if NASDAQ can find a bounce of that four hour oversold. Ha, who knew it? I like a bounce against 420. <laughs> I have bottom fish against 420 on NVDA. If the four hour oversold bounce continues to keep legs, I like a bottom fish of 42080. If we lose 420, then this could be that blow off top that bears have been waiting for on NVIDIA. And maybe NVIDIA follows Tesla one day late. And this could be a little two hour head and shoulders. Not ideal, but just watch it. Careful. Tesla. Tesla had a blow off top yesterday, reverse back burner. This is my queen of the mountain trade. Reverse back burners on Tesla. And we don't just jump in when we see five and 15 minute overbought during regular trading hours. We have to wait for shorter term time frames to actually change to the downside in order to take that short. I'm looking short Tesla on reverse back burners. AMD. I'm gonna write it here. Reverse back burners. AMD is weak. Bounces are for shorting. Five and 15 minute overbought conditions during regular trading hours. I like for short on AMD. Coin. Potential top fish here up at the daily 50 MA at 5836. If Bitcoin has any meaningful consolidation, I'd like to top fish coin looking for that weekly lower high. Google. Reverse back burners, we have lost support. It's weak. Reverse back burners on deck. Five and 15 minute overbought. Sound for ninjas only. Could give you, we have a daily inside bar and we're breaking bull over yesterday's high, but remember we still need to get over 405 to really break out. I would wait for stair steps and EQs Stair steps, EQs on shorter term time frames. Ninjas only, meaning experienced day trading scalpers. And I think AI falls in that sound I like better because it's more bullish. Thirty six oh one. We're coming up on the daily 21 EMA, four hours not oversold. We may It may take four hour oversold to put in a temporary bottom on AI, but this is how I would approach AI. Reverse back burners. Just wait for bounces to short. When they show you these blow off tops, wait for bounces to short. That's not what I meant to do. Oh Lord, third time in a row, come on. PLTR, reverse back burner, same thing. We lost our daily support of 1439. Actually, we double bottom there, but we're breaking it right now in pre-market. So let's see how we hold this gap down on PLTR. This is a dangerous one, y'all. 
I think bulls are going to be looking for weekly higher lows on this. I'd be a cautious bear on this one. Hmm. I'm going to watch this one today. See if I can get an opportunity out of it. JPM. Why did I go mess up my chart? That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. JPM. Bulls are looking for a daily high or low compared to 141.04. Weekly looks fine. Absolutely fine. If it's going to give you hourly oversold, I'd take it as a potential bottom fish. Let's see. So look, 141.04, that matches up with... You have confluence there, so that may be where you get a bottom fish for a, a conservative bull. An aggressive bull could look to bottom fish against yesterday's low. Attempting to nail that daily higher low. All right, there are almost 300 of you and only 76 likes. Come on, folks. I'm giving you all I got this morning. Sure, Prince Borky. Wowzer. Do you see it? Potential weekly head and shoulders on this sucker. You Forex traders, I'd keep an eye on that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And that would mean that Dixie, and this is the world's ugliest because it has such a deep left shoulder. Can Dixie put in a weekly inverse head and shoulders against EUR USD weekly head and shoulders? Daily, you're getting an upper wick of profit taking here on this large move up. Hmm. I like this for a short. I'd short against 110, 110, 122 for short in this area. I, the Jesus comments were just a, it's just a saying, we need, y'all need Jesus. It's like a country saying, so we're not going to get into a conversation about Jesus himself. Whether exists, doesn't exist, knows, TA, whatever. Not the type of show. I just like to use funny sayings, so that's on me. PayPal daily inside bar over the daily 50 MA. We've got a daily uptrend. Weekly, we're still looking for a lower high. Still looking for a, a lower high on PayPal compared to 76.50. We have earnings end of July. I mean, I guess you could look for a bottom fish in this EQ against 67.22. It may be running out of juice up here. You're welcome, Simon. I appreciate all of you. It's 6.50. Denzi's booting up. I'm going to go copy these notes for TCG members. Again, I like that Euro EURUSD potential head and shoulders on the weekly. That could be a nice swing short. We'll see. All right, y'all have a wonderful day and use stop losses.